In this video, we will talk about the fourth and final step of arriving at third alternatives. How do we know when we've arrived at a third alternative? We know the third alternative by the excitement in the room. People stop hesitating and being defensive. A burst of creative energy comes with a third alternative. And we recognize it when we feel it. It's like discovering a hidden treasure. We know the third alternative when we are no longer interested in old fights and old assumptions. The third alternative transforms our relationships. We become partners in discovery instead of enemies on a battlefield. We wonder why we never saw it before. All at once, we see clearly. When properly understood, the third alternative is the highest achievement in life. It taps into our creative potential and unleashes our unique insights. Everything that's really new in this world is a third alternative. Let me tell you a true story to illustrate the power of this moment of discovery. I once conducted a workshop in Canada with about 40 business people from many different companies. At one point, I asked if anyone in the room would volunteer for an experiment in finding third alternatives. A nicely dressed, soft-spoken man in the front row raised his hand. We'll call him Ronaldo. I asked him what his situation was. I own a large hardware store, he began. I've worked for many years to build it up and I have a wonderful clientele. It's been a good business and I'd like to see it grow, but I think it's all over. You see, two big box retail home centers are going to be built in my town. Not one, but two, and I'm situated halfway between them. They're huge and powerful. I surely won't be able to compete with them on price and I'm afraid my customers won't have much choice but to leave me. Well, I gulped and turned to the group, which had become very quiet. You could tell that everybody felt sympathy for this man. All right, I said, we've got to save Ronaldo. We've got to come up with a third alternative to quitting or fighting a losing battle. What can Ronaldo do to keep his customers? What can we come up with that no one has ever thought of before. Well, the group went to work. They took markers and chart paper and feverishly recorded ideas for making Ronaldo's retail store thrive. It was loud and chaotic, a delightful kind of chaos that you see when people are excited about their ideas. When the time was up, it was obvious that people couldn't wait to share their ideas, and the ideas flew. There were hundreds of suggestions, like, why wait for customers to come to you? Go to them. Put a truck on the road full of products and carry it to building sites. Or you have seasoned staff members. Turn your store into a learning center where people can get real advice on construction projects from real experts. Or start a just-in-time service. If a customer calls or texts and needs a tool, deliver it. Another one said, if I want one nail, sell me one nail so I don't have to buy a whole package of them. Well, the most fruitful set of suggestions came from the women in the room. Many of them talked about how home centers and hardware stores intimidated them and how much they would like a store that catered to their needs and interests. Ronaldo should hire women, develop classes for women, find out which products women needed most for home projects. One said, how about a hardware store just for women? Well. It was the most productive third alternative session I have ever seen. The many professions and perspectives in the room served up a rich mix of ideas, and Ronaldo blushed with pleasure as he sat down. He said, now I have hope. In the following months, he totally reconceived his business to counter the threat from the big box home centers where the home centers use an untrained staff to sell generic products. Ronaldo served up amazing expertise and personal attention with a special outreach to women customers. Whatever the big box retailers did, Ronaldo countered it. On one side of town was Big Box A, and on the other side of town was Big Box B. They fought it out for market share in a classic two-alternative showdown. 
although there wasn't much difference between them. Meanwhile, Rinaldo's third alternative hardware store sits in the middle, delighting a growing clientele with his exceptional blend of service and skill. In the end, the search for the third alternative is our greatest opportunity to stop the unproductive wrangling that takes us nowhere, to open our minds and listen to each other and create new solutions for ourselves. What else but third alternative thinking can ever produce the striking new solutions we so desperately need for our toughest challenges? Now, over the last few days, we've walked you through the third alternative process. You've seen the benefits. But you're probably still asking yourself, how do I apply this to my situation, to my own problems? You're a valued member of the Stephen Covey community. We want to give back to you for your support. So we're going to give you free access to five webinar workshops about third alternative problem solving and decision making. In these workshops, we'll dive deeply into the third alternative process. You'll be able to process your own issues. You'll be able to interact with not only our experienced consultants, but also other participants like you, asking your questions and getting advice the way Rinaldo did. These five 90-minute workshops, which are valued at $149 each, start in January 2012 and will be held many times so you can participate when you want. If you're interested in this offer, click below so we can get the information we need to connect you to the workshops. Now, this offer is not contingent on buying the book, The Third Alternative, but you'll get a lot more out of this opportunity if you get it and read it. You will also get access to several especially prepared streaming videos that give you deeper insights into The Third Alternative. So, I encourage you to click below to get your copy of The Third Alternative and start solving your own most difficult problems.